All right. Well, uh, good morning or good afternoon, uh, wherever you're joining us from. Uh, my name is Tommaso Canetta. I'm Assistant Director of Admissions here at MIT Sloan. I want to welcome you to our current student uh, healthcare club, uh, Google Hangout. Um, so we have four current students who are joining us today who are uh, members of the healthcare club. We're going to talk about the opportunities uh, here at MIT Sloan uh, within the scope of healthcare, talk about the opportunities about opportunities uh, with the healthcare certificate and answer any questions that you all have. Um, if you're tuning in, there is a chat box on the right of your screen, uh, should be there. So please use that to ask any questions uh, for the panel. And feel free to type those in throughout the presentation um, and we'll come back to those um, towards the end or, or as we're chatting um, as they come in. We really want this to be an interactive session driven by your questions uh, so that you get all the information that you're looking for out of today's, uh, out of today's webinar. Um, so to start with, I would just ask if we can go down and have each student introduce themselves. Just tell us a little bit about yourself, uh, name, year, uh, maybe what you were doing before Sloan. I think you're all first year, so uh, maybe if you have your summer plans already, you can uh, share those as well. Uh, my name is Jake Weinberg. I'm a first year here at Sloan. Uh, before this, I was actually a scientist. I was working in research and development at Pfizer. Uh, so uh, this summer, actually, I have plans already. I'll be at McKinsey in New York, so going to consulting, and uh, really excited to talk about the things we've been doing here. Great. Hi, all. My name is Kara Kelly. I'm also a first year MBA at Sloan. Uh, prior to coming to school, I was um, a healthcare consultant at Trinity Partners, so focusing on strategic life sciences consulting. And this summer, I'll be working at Shire Pharmaceuticals and Business Development. Also happy to talk about anything uh, club related. Very excited. Hi, everyone. My name is Devika. I'm also a first year MBA student. Uh, before coming to Sloan, I used to work in global health um, in India and in a little bit in Africa. I work mostly on making mobile health systems for community health workers. Um, in this summer, I'm going to be at a maternal health nonprofit in Nairobi. I'm happy to answer questions, uh, both in terms of if you have any questions on global health, as well as if you want to cross register and take uh, take a stab at other opportunities in Boston outside of Sloan at Harvard, at Harvard or in other Boston communities. Happy to answer questions about that. Hey everybody, I'm Shantanu Sathe. Um, before coming to Sloan, I was in. I worked in a generic pharmaceuticals manufacturing company in India. Um, I worked on business strategy and operations projects for the most part. Um, for the summer, I'm going to be working with Deloitte in New York uh, on healthcare strategy projects. So happy to talk about those recruiting opportunities, about the club, um, about any, anything related to healthcare at Sloan. So. Great, thank you all. Um, so to start with, I you know, think we should talk a little bit about the healthcare club that you're uh, all a part of. Um, so maybe if one or a couple of you uh, want to talk about, um, you know, well, give us a little bit of an overview about what the club is, uh, what sort of uh, programming uh, is uh, done by the club, um, perhaps your roles in the club if you serve in any sort of official functions. Um, so whoever wants to talk a little bit about uh, the healthcare club. Kick it off. Um, sure. So um, I, we can all talk about our different levels of involvement, but overall the, the club um, really starts to just pull like, together anybody who's interested in healthcare, whether they're just getting into healthcare for the first time or whether they know that they want to be committed to healthcare for the rest of their career. It really spans a broad range. Um, actually further building on that, there's a lot of different interests within the healthcare club. So there's a lot of people interested in biotech or pharma, some more on the insurance side and the provider side. Um, like international, global health, public health, it really is very broad. Um, and as far as what the club offers, again, of course, bringing together people so you get to know your peers that are interested in the space. Um, but we have social events. We actually had an event last night that was uh, networking with the um, bi MIT biotech group. So that's more on the PhD side of things, um, really connecting across campus. Uh, we also do events with other schools in the area. Um, so that's sort of on the social side. Uh, one of our big flagship events is the conference that happens every year in February. So that brings together both the academic side as well as the professional side um, in Boston, but also from a broader community. It's really on digital health and personalized medicine. Uh, and also we, do, we really hold monthly meetings just so people know what events are coming up outside of MIT. And we also have executive speakers. 
um, that come to campus. So that's been pretty um, pretty great to integrate all those different types of events. Yeah, I think maybe maybe just to add to that in terms of like the size of the club and how it fits in with other clubs here at Sloan. Um, I think at least when we first joined, it was about 70 members. Um, and I think that maybe 30 or 40 are, are very active uh, and committed to running the club. So it's uh, actually a really good, tightly knit group of people. Um, and again, as Kara mentioned, diverse backgrounds. I mean, I have a pharma background. Um, others have consulting backgrounds. There are folks coming from the military with no, you know, no healthcare background whatsoever. Um, but everyone really comes together with a common interest um, and engages both uh, here at Sloan, engages with other clubs, um, as well as just the general uh, Cambridge um, biotech community. I think from an international student's perspective, also I think the club has a lot to offer. So coming from India, I had pretty much no idea about how the U.S. healthcare system works. But uh, just connecting with people who worked uh, in, in these settings and also reaching out to alumni through the different networking events has given me a, a, a really good starting point. Um, and apart from that, the club works really closely with the school in terms of figuring out how the curriculum should work. So I thought I gained a lot of pertinent perspective about the US healthcare system and perhaps even about global health issues uh, because I've been a part of this club. Uh, as such, I'm also on the alumni relations team of the healthcare club and um, we, we have a fairly active um, set of alumni, so I'm not sure how it works with other professional interest groups in, in Sloan, but with the healthcare club, the alumni actually care, and we've had a couple of mixer events where alumni have come, spoken to us, talked about what they're doing, what's new in the industry, um, where hiring trends are moving, for example. So from an international student's perspective also, I think there's a lot to gain. Um, and just to add to that, I think we covered already a lot of it, but um, from the perspective of all of the events that the healthcare club has, it's also really interesting for people who don't have a healthcare background. So, like for example, I have a more peripheral healthcare background as a specific area of global health, but again, as Shantanu said, very little about US healthcare that I knew before it. So those events are really helpful. Uh, I would want to call out again to the healthcare conference. I think the conference is really something that a lot of healthcare professionals look forward to every year outside the MIT community as well. Uh, because in online conversations with people who visited, it's a very good ground given that we are here in Cambridge, which is the best biotech hub you could be in. Uh, it's a very good mixing of people. Actually, Devika brings up a really good point um, with Boston, Cambridge being I would say, you know, at least on the East Coast, like the predominant uh, pharma biotech healthcare center, um, that really, I, I don't think we can, you know, overstate like how important that is for both our club and the program here at Sloan. Uh, you know, in, in a, like, as part of engaging with the community, one of the things that we do as a club is we set up treks, uh, day treks to go visit uh, many of the local companies, small and big in the, in the community and we'll kind of knock out two, three, four uh, in a day and visit you know, uh, small startups. So for example, we had one day where we visited Bluebird Bio, a small biotech, we visited Athena Health and uh, Sanofi Genzyme in one day. And it's, a, it's an incredible opportunity, one for networking, but two, just to really understand how these companies are run, how they operate, uh, give them a chance to meet the program here at Sloan. Um, and that, that, that's a critical part of our program and it's really opened up a lot of doors for many of us. We talked about um, you know, the healthcare conference. Uh, obviously, there's a lot of events uh, that happen uh, around healthcare here at Sloan. Um, do you want to talk a little bit more just about the different events that students can get involved with to learn more about healthcare and then kind of have some of those networking opportunities or maybe just more about the conference as well? Yeah, I can take this one. Um, so I think the, the conference is, um, I, I think this is our 14th year. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah, 14th year we've been putting on. Um, it's about, 250 to 300 uh, you know, professionals and, and students as well from here in the Boston community come together to discuss a various number of topics. Uh, there's just a, a brief overview. You know, We have seminars, we have rapid fire talks, we have posters, um, we have a pitch competition, um, and all of it is student run. So that requires us as a club, uh, the conference as, as a team to come together and assign roles, how to get involved. And this pretty much starts day one. So for many of you, when you first come to Sloan, you'll attend uh, a club fest where you'll you know be exposed to the healthcare club and various other clubs as well as the conference and you'll choose what you want to get into. Um, so if you're interested in the conference, 
pretty early, I would say within the first few weeks of, of school starting or for semester, um, everyone will come together uh, and say what their interests are. So for me, um, I was working on panels. Uh, so we had various panel discussions. Actually with Kara, we were on the same panel. Um, but there are other ways to get involved, such as uh, sponsorship, uh, finding keynote speakers, uh, organizing a pitch comp competition, various other ways to kind of get involved in the event. Um, and then over the course of course semester uh, and really leading up to crunch time in January, uh, the event gets planned. Um, the whole group gets split into smaller subgroups. It's a very, uh, one, it's exciting to plan a conference, but it also it's a great way to like network with your peers uh, and get to meet people and, and know people better. So um, it ended up being a great success this year. We had uh, some phenomenal speakers. Uh, and I'm sure, you know, when you guys come next year, we'll, we'll kind of keep it going. Yeah, it's also a really incredible opportunity for professionals. So it's great for the students and it's a great opportunity to put on a very large event. It's really um, an example of like many hands make light work for any given person. It's it's a pretty reasonable amount of work and you see it all come together in this really amazing full day, well run uh, event. And I actually met someone, going back to the professional side of things, I met someone last night who's working on a startup in Kendall Square who met a lot of uh, connections from more bigger pharma um, tech companies to work on partnerships, um, bringing their startup forward. So that was pretty incredible to hear. And that was just kind of off offhand yesterday. Um, I think one more thing to be said about the conference is that apart from just healthcare, there's a lot of um, application of what you've learned in other courses that comes on. So as an example, I handled the marketing for the conference. And one of the things we had to do was to figure out what the tickets should be priced at. And we literally use some of the principles we learned in economics <laughs> to figure out how the pricing should be done. Um, and apart from that, the, the content and, and just the way you develop and market the conference, a lot of it feeds in from what you've learned in course. So it's, it's a very hands-on experience. Um, apart from the conference itself, I guess one more area that I have found useful in terms of networking have actually been monthly healthcare club meetings. We have them once every month. And more often than not, you would have people sharing information about some kind of startups that they may be working on in the healthcare space, or especially when the the, uh, the second years are back from their summers, there, there have been a couple of meetings where they've shared with the club um, most of the non-confidential information about their summer projects, especially if they're in the healthcare space. So I found that to be really interesting. It's a great way to kick off a conversation with someone and then maybe carry it further, perhaps even look at recruiting as an option. Um, and just to add the last bit about recruiting, um, you know, as any of the professional clubs, the healthcare club also functions um, as your channel for the healthcare recruiting. So, uh, and given that we are in Cambridge, you get a lot of recruiting from pharma companies as well as healthcare consulting firms, which are based here. So that's another avenue, both for either sure, we are summer recruiting or full-time recruiting that the club fosters. So you talked a, a little bit about uh, the academic side of things, so I want to spend a couple minutes talking about that. Um, first, uh, with the healthcare certificate. So um, here at Sloan, uh, we offer um, two certificates right now. We're actually going to add a third in the fall. So there is a healthcare certificate, sustainability certificate, and we'll be adding an analytic certificate in the, in the fall. Um, certificates are open to anyone at MIT. Uh, so it really brings together students from across MIT's campus, so Sloan students, engineering students, undergraduates, um, who can, can work together, take classes together, and really think about these issues, I think, from more of, a, of an interdisciplinary uh, approach. So Shantanu, I know you're working towards the certificate, so do you want to talk a little bit about um, the experience you've had and some of the opportunities you've had through that certificate? Sure. So um, just as you're out of core, you have a chance to choose electives over the next three semesters. And to get this certificate, it's, it's, so firstly, it's really flexible. To get this certificate, you need to complete a certain number of credits or a certain number of courses. And you can choose which of these, which courses you want to take. Um, and to add to that, you can actually choose to sign up for the certificate even in your last semester when you're, when you're sort of done with most of your prerequisite courses. So there's a lot of flexibility in the way the certificate works. Um, in my second semester here, I took a course on healthcare economics. Um, it was taught by Joseph Doyle. Um, he's a fantastic economics uh, faculty, and I think the health, head of the Healthcare Innovation uh, Initiative at Sloan. Um, 
Um, the course was really interesting. For the first half of the course, we learned about the US healthcare system, how payers, providers work, what kind of incentives they respond to. And the second half of the course was, was perhaps the best part. We had industry uh, thought leaders come in and speak to us. So we had someone from pharmaceuticals marketing, someone who was responsible for writing the Affordable Care Act, um, a, a third person who um, was a well-known um, clinical research doctor uh, at, at a major pharmaceutical company. So I thought that, that those industry perspectives really added value to the way uh, I learned through this course. And um, I suspect I'm going to have to complete between four and five more courses to get the healthcare certificate. But um, a lot of the reviews I have got from my peers taking these different courses have been fantastic. Um, so I look forward to getting like, completing the course requirements and getting the certificate. Uh, and if I can add a little Please. bit more to that, so I'm also taking the healthcare certificate. I'd agree with everything that uh, Shantanu just said about the course on healthcare economics. So the way the healthcare certificate works is that healthcare economics and medicine for managers are two uh, required courses for the certificate. And other than that, you can choose from a list of electives and you have to complete a certain number of credits out of that list. And you can choose even if something, if you find a course that is healthcare related in any of the Boston universities that you cross registered to from Sloan, you can count that course as well as part of your healthcare certificate. So it's really not a big requirement given the you know, that you have three semesters to do it. Uh, so I'll talk more about the other course, which is a requisite course, which is medicine for managers. Um, unlike healthcare economics, that's a full-term course. Uh, but it's really exciting because, uh, so as the first class I walked in, the professor said, this is medical school in a semester. <laughs> um, and uh, it's definitely been uh, as fascinating as that would be. Uh, so right from learning your basics of biology that a doctor would need to learn, like of course in a much more digestible manner, I'd say, uh, but uh, so learning from that, learning clinical pharmacology, learning how cancer progresses through, uh, through a system and how you have drugs and treatment methods developed to analyze it and what, how would you develop a new solution for any of these diseases is what your term project for that course is, to develop like a new biomedical technology idea. And it's only really fascinating because that class is conducted with like two guest lectures every week. All, all from the industry would have like 15 to 20 years of experience. And even without those, the faculty consists of five professors, all of who have had more than 20 years of experience each in the healthcare industry, whether it be in biotech or they were a practicing physician or one of them um, leads Mass Angels, which is a venture fund for early stage startups in the biotech industry. So I think given the if given the breadth of people that the course accesses, it is a really good foundation to be able to make a cut in any part of healthcare. And I think uh, it's also important to note that you know, while the healthcare certificate is, is a great opportunity and a great option, you can still take many of these classes. You can still take healthcare classes without formally completing the, the certificate. I don't know if anyone else has taken any other healthcare yeah, topic we're, classes that you want to talk about. We're both in healthcare finance, mm -hmm. which is taught by Andrew Lowe, who's a very well-known finance mm -hmm. professor. Um, so he's really taking like basic finance princi financial principles and applying them to um, the healthcare field to really think about how can we use different innovative forms of financing to help get more innovation to market. Um, so that's been awesome. I've really enjoyed that. And actually, another another plug for what a class that was outside of the semester. Um, we have a period called IAP, which is MIT wide, where we basically don't have regular classes in January and you can choose to use that time as you wish. Um, so I did um, an externship that was actually with a healthcare startup. So it counted for class credit, but I actually got to work um, at the Harvard Innovation Lab on a, a startup company that was working on diagnostics um, for infectious disease, which was awesome. And that was during the day. And then in the evening, I took a class that was um, cross school. So it was, um, it was focused on biomedical entrepreneurship. And it was with MIT Sloan students, some HBS, which was about a quarter of the total class that was maybe 70 people in total. So we had about 15 business school students, and the rest of them were PhDs, postdocs from you know, MIT, from the Broad and the Koch Institute. It was really an awesome experience to really pull people together. That's kind of you know, the, the crux of healthcare is pulling together the science and the business side of things. And we had a lot of guest lectures and really talked about how would you start a biotech um, startup? Like how, how does that actually look like? What does it happen? So it was pretty great. 
Yeah, I, I actually agree with what all these guys said. And I think the one thing, maybe taking a step uh, a step out of healthcare for just a moment, I think what the certificate, healthcare certificate provides, as well as the other certificates, I think it's really indicative of kind of how the program works here at Sloan. Um, you have a lot of flexibility to choose what you want to do. Um, you know, course semesters, one semester, um, that's, that's more or less fixed. But after that, you really have uh, kind of the legs to go explore where you want to go. Um, and healthcare certificates really just one avenue that you can focus on. And if you'd like to take a step back or take a step back in, um, you have the freedom to do it. And I think it really enables us to kind of find what we're interested in, uh, whether it's more case-based learning, hands-on learning. I think action learning is a term that gets thrown around. Um, and I, I think that that's, that's the one real benefit of these certificates is the flexibility that it provides. Are any of you able to talk about healthcare labs speaking of action learning? I probably haven't done it yet, but I'm not yet taking it. Just want to highlight. So action learning is, is certainly um, a big part of the Sloan experience, as Jacob was talking about. Um, and we have about 20 different lab courses where students can work in small teams with outside partner uh, companies or organizations. And, and each lab course is focused on different topics. And so uh, one of those lab courses is called uh, HLab or Healthcare Lab. Um, and so that is an opportunity, again, to get some more kind of hands-on experience uh, in the classroom. I know as first years, you haven't had that opportunity quite yet, but hopefully next year yeah, uh, right. you guys will, will be able to to uh, take advantage of, of that lab course among uh, others. Um, you Kara, you touched a little bit on you know, the opportunities to network with the uh, you know, greater kind of healthcare community mm -hmm. um, right in our backyard in Kendall Square and, and across Boston. So I'm um, just wondering if we could talk a little bit more about the ways that you've taken advantage of Sloan's location in really a, mm -hmm. one of the biggest healthcare hubs in, in the country. Yeah, for sure. I like. I didn't even really appreciate how how amazing it is to be right at the center of biotech. Like I mentioned, the Broad Institute, the Koch Institute, and all the rest of MIT, it's really developing the research from the beginning. It's right down the street. And also right down the street are um, not only you know, venture capital firms that are investing in these early stage um, scientific you know, amazing inventions, um, but also the, the larger pharma companies um, that are really bringing them to commercialization. So I've, I think actually Jake touched on it earlier, which I think is incredible that the tracks that are planned by the healthcare club really do help um, help people get a lay of the land as to sort of which companies are out there and really get to meet people directly um, set up through the club and really get you comfortable with that kind of networking aspect that I know some people are a little bit hesitant on initially. Um, but then also kind of once you get in the groove of it, people are, when you just email out really anyone in the community, whether they're an alum or not, people are so receptive to meeting with students. I've met with so many different people in the area over coffee between classes, and it's just incredible. You ask pretty basic questions, just like, what, what do you do on a day-to-day -day basis? Why do you like working for your company? What did you do before? Where, where do you see your career? And people are just so willing to share with you and kind of give, give back to that you know, student early on in their career and, and really just kind of advise them. So I've been very impressed with that. And it's, it's so easy because it's all right down the street. Yeah, I, I would just add that, you know, coming from a research background and looking to make that transition from like science into business, um, the, it's the reason I came to Sloan. <laughs> but put very simply, is it's just the opportunities here with companies. Um, there are always talks on campus uh, by folks who are coming in from companies, from, from research, uh, from, uh, from policy, and it's just incredible exposure for, if you're looking for the intersection between the two, um, I'm not sure there's a better place than Cambridge for it. Carrie, you touched on um, alumni, and I think that's mm -hmm. a, obviously a, a, an important topic and one that I'm sure many prospective applicants have questions about. Um, can you talk about how uh, the healthcare club facilitates networking with alumni, mm -hmm. um, if at all, or, or just other ways that you all have um, tapped into that alumni network within healthcare? Sure, yeah. I think, um, like I mentioned, when we go on the, the treks or whether it's any sort of other event, alumni are excited that Sloan is coming <laughs> to, to their company, like at Vertex. So I think we had a panel of at least half alumni, um, and, and they were just so excited to meet with us. And I actually met with one of the people multiple times after who also came to the conference, and I've been in touch with since. Um, and we actually just recently had an event. I don't know if Shanshin, if you were involved in mm -hmm. that one. Yeah, um, at Mead Hall, which was amazing. We had a great turnout. Again, people working right in the area. Um, so there's that that's really in this Cambridge ecosystem, and there's also alumni all around the world. I know a lot of people that are looking um, in the Bay Area. There's a lot of alumni out there, because so that's also kind of another big biotech hub. Um, so people have been reaching out to make connections there. I'm not sure if you want to add. So to take that a little bit further, uh, the club has an alumni relations team, 
And every semester we have between two and three events, um, between the like networking events between students and alumni. And we have alumni, so the latest event we had, which Kara spoke about, we had alumni ranging from the batch of 2014 to the batch of, I want to say, 1994. <laughs> um, so you have them all, all across the spectrum from different parts of the healthcare industry to different levels in the healthcare industry. Some of them are CEOs of their own companies that they started off a decade ago. Um, really interesting people. And um, they're always happy to keep the conversation going. Um, so just meeting them once isn't the end of it. They probably are more than proactive in, in uh, helping you out if you reach out to them after you meet them the first time around. So it's, it's a pretty tight, tight network. And I guess a lot of it sort of goes back to us being in Cambridge. The fact that so many Sloan Healthcare alumni are interested, it, it's also a lot easier for them to do so because they're located in and around Boston and Cambridge in these healthcare companies. Actually, the, the head of Shire BD is a Sloan alum. So when I was going through my interviews, um, as like as soon as we sat down, he was like, "Oh, Sloan, great, like we're good." <laughs> um, so that was like just sort of an instant connection that you have. And again, it's all right here, and people just love being here, love being connected to the school. I think I think that culture is actually really important. I'm glad you guys brought it up. Um, I think like you know my impression of the job hunt before coming to Sloan is it, it's challenging. I mean, like networking is tough. You have to reach out to people. People don't always respond, but um, one thing I found here at Sloan, and these guys really, really hit hit the nail on the head, is that there's a very strong pay, it, you know, pay it forward culture, um, and people are are willing to go out of their way to talk to you. It's a very, very close community, um, and you know whether you know you are busy or not, I, we find at least I found that you know alumni and you know people affiliated with Sloan um, will drop what they're doing to speak to you more than happily. Uh, and it's a it's a great feeling. It's a great network building opportunity, um, and it's definitely it's definitely something that we we all benefit from, and we probably we will do the same going forward. You know, as part of Sloan. And just to add to that, like it's not just like Sloan alumni, even or like all of the MIT alumni. Many of them will be in like nonprofits or healthcare firms are also as happy to entertain you, and that you know just tells you given that. That's a much bigger, uh, num just in terms of numbers, a bigger community to reach out to. Uh, you'll also find while you're taking, let's say, healthcare courses, because the courses are open not just to Sloan students. You know, typical classrooms. So, for in one class, I've had people from students from all of the different universities, about so Harvard and Tufts, show up in class. We also have. PhD students from MIT come to class as well as like a couple of practicing physicians who are taking more of the part-time courses only would come to class. So I think that also gives you a really good base to touch base with. Uh, another example I would give for, for example, the summer where I'm going, um, one of I like one of the people whom I talked to there who were there was from MIT. Uh, we recently had a study tour, uh, so a lot of us went on study tours at Trex. We just finished our spring break, uh, and one of the things I did was I was visiting Botswana, and we found a healthcare nonprofit there, which was founded by an MIT alumni. And so it's just very interesting how much the alumni community helps you in all the different things you want to try in your career. So I'll actually, one more one more point yeah. to add, but along the lines of networking, um, the club has. Um, this like mechanism where we pair up MBAs with uh, like someone from the executive program and kind of like a buddy system. Um, so uh, I actually was paired up with someone who also has a research background like me, but has basically been in the industry for like 20 years um, and had a chance to meet her and speak kind of through her experiences and what she was thinking. And that's extremely beneficial. So, you know, not within Sloan, there's not just the MBA program, the 400 of us or so, you know, or so per, per year, but um, there's also the you know there's Sloan Fellows, there's the Executive Program, and you you really and, and others, and you really have the opportunity to meet with them, and there's a wealth of knowledge to be learned, um, and and that's actually like another aspect of kind of networking within the community here. So there's certainly the collaboration within the community, like you've talked about all the portfolio programs here at Sloan, um, but something that's really unique about Sloan is that there's a lot of collaboration that happens throughout the greater MIT campus and, and uh, you know, hosted programs, and we touched a little bit on that, but um, do any of you have some examples of ways you've collaborated you know, kind of outside of Sloan with, uh, with the greater MIT community? Yeah, I think just going back to that class that I took in January was like an amazing opportunity to just bring together all people that were interested in bringing science to market and innovation. 
Um, and, and that was awesome. We like, so that, again, I think I mentioned it was about three quarters of people on the science side and, and one quarter um, business. So we formed teams um, that was similar to that in proportion. There'd be three scientists and one MP. <laughs> um, and, and we actually w went through the steps of, you know, the one of the scientists was sort of the lead um, point person and bringing together an idea that actually could, we could form a company around. And we went through the process of putting a pitch deck together and kind of divided up you know, do you want to overview the clinical trial plan? And you can discuss the science, obviously, because that's kind of your wheelhouse. And, and I, you know, we were looking at the financials of how much this would cost to bring to market. Um, and then we actually went through and, and pitched it to a panel of um, venture capitalists, which was pretty cool. Um, but even just getting that, that collaboration has been great, um, not only through the class, but I've been in touch with those people afterwards and actually um, connected one of them to a few other friends in the healthcare space. Um, that want you know wanted to connect more on the business side. I'm actually going to lunch with one of them next week at J and J. Um, they host lunches that are really open to the community. I don't know if you guys know about that. They're pretty cool. I just found out about it, but it was through someone I met through the class, and one of my classmates is going. One of my teammates. Um, so those connections really live on. You get the opportunity, and you can make the most of it. My friends uh, in my class is uh, he's working on a startup with. Uh, three other people outside of the Sloan community, but in the broader MIT community. Um, on, um, I think the startup fo focuses on low cost uh, gene mapping um, for genetically specific drugs. Um, and he's, he's handling the business planning and the business side of it, while a lot of scientific expertise or clinical expertise comes in from other students at MIT outside of Sloan. Um, and it's, I think they've spent about four or five months um, on, on this work, and they're looking at a horizon of the next maybe one and a half years at least till they go commercial. Um, and I think even apart from just like um, from a healthcare course or something, we in our core there's a course for organizational processes where every team uh, works on some company and tries to help them through an organizational change. And it just happened that because and Cambridge, the company that my team picked was a biotech company, which is trying to improve uh, on vaccine delivery by using micro needles and silk fibers to store vaccines as a patch uh, rather than a typical vial syringe combination. And it was really interesting, I pick it up in terms of how easy the collaboration was because uh, we were coming from MIT and it was also interesting to see how they were trying to think through their issues of like dilutive this non-dilutive funding and how much that affects the growth and the type of people you're able to hire. So I felt really lucky to be able to get that perspective of a company of like when you have a healthcare startup of your own, what are the growth pains that you go through typically and what are the networks of like NIH funding or uh, VC funding that you are able to access at what points of time. Great. So, um... You, you all have different backgrounds and um, have all kind of come together as, as members of the healthcare club. Um, you know, for those who are out there and are considering Sloan, um, considering the healthcare club, and might be wondering, you know, what types of students join the club? I would say all types of students join the club. Um, you have your like healthcare field, so uh, folks coming from pharma, coming from payer provider, from medicine, um, from biotech. But you also have folks who, who really are, have become interested in healthcare who don't. So um, we have members of the military. Um, we have people who have been in you know investing and finance. So I would say it's a really broad range of students, um, and it's very inclusive. And I would say that each each area that's represented brings something to the table, um, whether healthcare related or not healthcare related. And I think as a club, we're lucky to have that that diversity. Because um, it really, it, you know, it allows us to extend into a number of areas. And I think we touched on this a little bit earlier, but I just want to emphasize that it's really not meant to be um, kind of a, a mindset of, oh, you know, you can only join the club if you know a lot about healthcare, or you know, you're you're definitely committed to healthcare. Like people who are even just exploring it initially uh, are welcome. Actually, in the beginning of the year, some second years put on like a healthcare 101 um, chat, and they had like kind of office hours, so people could just go in and ask questions, like really basic questions. It's not meant to be intimidating. It's just meant to help get people up to speed um, as much as they like. And it's really meant to be welcome to, to any level of, of interest or prior experience. And I think just to add to that, like also um, 
the healthcare club has, uh, does a lot of these events, including Healthcare 101 and other just health second years in healthcare, who are open to helping people translate their previous experience and see how those skill sets can be used in a healthcare career. So especially if you don't, didn't come with a healthcare experience or if it was not in the US. So we have like people who've been healthcare consultants in maybe Europe um, or in Asia. And some of those, how are what parts of that experience can you directly use in maybe building out a full time career here or in the summer internship? I think that sort of conversations really help um, all types of students to be able to decide what sort of area in healthcare will be more interested in. Some of my most interesting experiences in the healthcare club have actually been with uh, people who handled supply chains before uh, for either pharmaceuticals or other healthcare products. Um, I see that they they come in with a very industrial, very general take on healthcare, and they want to get to know the specifics more. And at the same time, it relates a lot to the kind of education I've had. So I'm an engineer, and I, I learned those things at some point, but connecting with these people refreshes my memories, and it makes the interaction that much more valuable. Yeah, I think, I, actually, Devika, you mentioned internship, and I think, like, you know, Let's be honest, I think like, you know, ultimately the job is like a big part of like why you would go and pursue an MBA in the first place. And, and by nature, you know, what you do over the summer or internships like, has, you know, has, has that importance. And um, I think Sloan does an excellent job in the career development office of kind of breaking uh, the prep course or the kind of the preparation for internship into different functional areas. And we've had as part of the healthcare club um, at healthcare at Sloan, there was a biopharma track. And I think the healthcare track that basically prepped us for you know what to expect in interviews, um, you know how to prepare, uh, and and it's an it's a nice boot camp leading up for uh, interviews in the in January period, um, and I think that that really benefits folks um, from all areas of healthcare and all areas not of healthcare who are looking to go into it. It kind of gets everyone on an equal playing field. Um, so between the conversations and what the you know the CDO offers, um, I think we're all you know all we're put in really good position to succeed. Uh, if you could kind of put yourselves back in your in your shoes when you were looking at programs and beginning the application process, like like many of our viewers, um, you know, what was it about Sloan, um, maybe particularly around the healthcare opportunities here, um, that drew you to to apply and ultimately attend Sloan? So I think for me, uh, there was probably three or four key elements. The first was um, I'd spoken to people at Sloan and at other uh, schools here in Boston. And I figured that as a location, you couldn't possibly be in a better location if you wanted to do healthcare. Uh, that was reason one. Reason two is I'd spoken to a couple of my seniors, um, people who were already at Sloan and pursuing the healthcare certificate, and I thought that they were super approachable. And um, that sort of continues while I'm at Sloan and they've become alumni now. Um, so that was reason two. Uh, reason three is I knew that there'd be the whole support from the broader MIT community, and I was interested at, in the confluence of healthcare and technology. Um, and frankly, this is probably one of the best places to be um, for people with those kinds of interests. Um, I'd say those would be the main drivers for me to look at Sloan at school. So I think I'll like some of those reasons are true that you know Boston as a location was definitely very important. Uh, for me, um, also particularly because I'm looking at global health, so there are a lot of programs um, at other universities in the U.S. which have very strong U.S. healthcare management, but very few that give you a chance to do both. So I was when I was coming in, I was like, I'm not sure whether I would do um, global health going back only, or I would do U.S. healthcare too. And I think though having access to really good faculty from both of those. So there's also J. Paul, which is based out of MIT, which gives you a lot of global health access. There's, as I said earlier, other you have the other schools to register to. Another thing that stood out for Sloan's program was the flexibility around healthcare. So around, around the coursework, as well as around being able to work with researchers at Media Lab who are doing some really cutting edge work in healthcare technology. Or the HST program, which is a collaboration for PhD students from Harvard and MIT. Um, and you had a lot, I've worked for a firm before which had a few people hired from that program. So it was interesting to see that, you know, the kind of confluence of health and technology that Shantanu talked about was happening real time and where I would be studying. So I think that was really important. 
Yeah, I mean, I, I couldn't agree more with all these points. I think, yeah, again, lo location, we're just right in the heart of it. And companies are, are moving their offices to Kendall Square. Like, Kendall's just such a hotspot. And it, everyone's here, and it's just such a great ecosystem to be right in the middle of. Um, and then also, I was particularly interested in, in not only biotech, but also the entrepreneurial side of it, um, and really like, working with early stage companies. Um, and you know, this is exactly the, the perfect place for that. I mean, so many companies come out of MIT, both Sloan and, and broader MIT, um, and it really just fosters a sense of innovation and supporting entrepreneurs. So I thought that was very attractive. And then also just when I was here for Adam Beacon, like, it, not only for healthcare, but just in general, like, everyone was really great and welcoming and just like genuinely interested in you, like not you know, pressuring and just say like, this is really great place to be for healthcare. Like, I hope you agree. Like, let me know if you have any questions, very open, very willing to help and chat. And I just really, it resonated with me a lot. Yeah, I think between healthcare and operations management, those two sold me, but Kara's last point is really the, I, I think the reason that I'm here at Sloan, um, when I was, I remember back when I was looking for schools for undergrad, I looked, you know, I looked at many schools kind of in the Northeast and which is where I grew up, but I, I landed in the Midwest. And what I really liked about it was um, it, it felt laid back. Um, it felt like community oriented. People were, you know, you root for your neighbor. Team success defines your success. And that really clicked with me. Um, and I found that that exists here at Sloan. I found this actually in the, in the admission process. Um, I think one day I showed up in admissions kind of unannounced and was just looking to learn about the program. I happened to be in Boston. And you know, people sat down and talked to me. I wouldn't recommend doing that. You're like <laughs> large massive. Hey, you're um, but maybe maybe schedule an appointment first. But um, but but really, people go out of their way, and it's uh, it's again that pay it forward culture. It's um, it's it's the you know rooting for your neighbor, your community, and investing in others, um, which really comes back to you. And I think that um, it's really an exciting thing going on here. Thanks. Just a reminder: if anyone has any questions, feel free to type those in the the chat box on the right of your screen and. Uh, we can answer those. Um, just kind of, I think, you know, we've talked about a lot of different things uh, today, um, touched on quite a few different topics. Um, any just kind of general pieces of advice uh, for those uh, who are considering Sloan? I think that, um, I think the MBA is a very exciting experience. It's an opportunity to kind of like step outside of your comfort zone and explore new areas. Um, and you will for sure, bless you, you will for sure be overwhelmed with um, opportunities to do new things. Sloan for sure provides that. Um, we get that through the healthcare club, but we also get that through so many other avenues throughout school, whether it's other clubs or courses or extracurriculars, you name it. Um, so uh, I think that it's important to kind of be focused while you're going through this experience. Because there's many things, many you know, shiny objects left and right that you're going to want to go towards. But it's also, um, I would also say, like every now and then, go towards one of those shiny objects and kind of see see what it is and let yourself explore a little bit. Um, and I, I think, you know, hopefully we've shared that through healthcare, we've had a chance to do a lot of that up here in Boston. Yeah, completely agree. And I, I'd probably just to emphasize, like, connect with your other um, admins, like. You know, Connecting to each other is really the first step in the intro into like, is this place a good fit for me? Do I get along well with these people? Do we click? Um, and for me, that that happened right off the bat, and um, I really enjoyed that. So it's not only the current students in the ecosystem here, but also your fellow admins. Um, just just kind of see how the, the fit is. Hopefully, it's great. And I think um, in terms of like applying to Sloan uh, compared to like my other B school application, I think what really worked was uh, being able to drill down into my own experiences. And be able to see what were what were my my learnings, my thoughts through those, and that really helped through the B school experience, not just in writing your essays and you know getting into B school, uh, but just to be able to sort of step back and say what have I learned in my professional journey so far, and then what do I want out of business school, and that one step uh, was was something that I really cherish about the application process, um, as well as, you know, like that sort of helped me figure out coming back to healthcare as well, that, okay, this is what I know about healthcare, but these are the five things I don't know about healthcare. So I really want to make sure that in these two years, I will learn those things. So I think that experience of the application process is something I hope you really enjoy. So I guess I have three pieces of advice, <laughs> but like I'm going to step out of the healthcare mold, mold and I'm going to keep it general. The first is um, you probably have been working really hard in your jobs and stuff like that, and you think B-School is going to be a break. 
it's not, it's going to be intense, but you're going to love it. You're going to love every moment of it. Second piece of advice is you must have heard a lot of things about Sloan and about other B schools. About Sloan, I can, and you've probably heard the best things from the websites and from people you've spoken to, or even over this uh, uh, this forum. It's everything they make it out to be. Um, I have found it super satisfying to be at business school, um, especially at Sloan, um, and it's something you guys should definitely look forward to. Um, and the third thing, sort of going back to what Jake was saying, is come in with some kind of a plan, with some kind of a set of interests. But this is a place also that you will uh, you will find many other things to explore. And don't be shy and go ahead and explore those. So finally, as, as we wrap up today, um, maybe you could each just kind of go down the line and uh, pick one word that summarizes your experience in the healthcare club or just at Sloan in general. Uh, so far, you on the spot. <laughs> I'll keep it really simple here. I'm just going to say fun. <laughs> it's a lot of fun. I'd say connection. Um, so slightly applied, but awakening. I guess it's, I'd say it'd be gratifying. Really happy, satisfied that I'm here. Well, is there anything that we haven't touched on that you all think would be helpful? I know we've touched on quite a bit. Yeah, really yeah. Excellent. Well, we want to thank you all for uh, joining us today and learning a little bit more about uh, the healthcare club and opportunities around healthcare here at MIT Sloan. Uh, I know if you have any questions, um, our students would be more than happy to uh, answer those. Um, so you can find their contact information on the website, I believe, under the, the club's listing. Uh, you can uh, get in touch with them or reach out to the admissions office and we'll be happy to with these students um, to follow up if, if there are any questions. And we encourage you to stay connected with Sloan. Uh, keep an eye out for all those events um, that Jake was talking about. Um, and we, uh, we hope to see you on campus soon and look forward to receiving your application. So thanks again for joining us and enjoy the rest of your day. <laughs>